What's going on guys? Yesterday I showed you guys the install of the new brake line kit that I got from Spiegler on my 2017 Yamaha R6. And uh, today we're gonna be bleeding those brakes and putting them to the test, seeing how they perform now that we have some steel braided brake lines on there. They uh, look freaking fantastic and I'm really excited for this because uh, for this one, I'm gonna be using the uh, pneumatic brake bleeding kit that I picked up before I did the install. So it's gonna be a little bit new for me starting out, but I'm also curious how it's gonna be using that kit. Now, the whole concept of bleeding brakes, whether you're doing it on new lines or you're just bleeding out old fluid, is uh, pretty simple. All you're doing is using gravity and pressure on the lever to push fluid through the lines, trying to eliminate as much air as possible. Ideally, all the air that's in the lines because you're not gonna get pressure on the brakes from air, you're gonna get pressure from the brake fluid. So for this, with brand new lines, the difficult part is just making sure that you get all of the air out and fill those lines with fluid. So that's what we're gonna try now. And that's where the uh, pneumatic brake bleeder kit with the air compressor comes into play because with this, I'm not using just like lever pressure to get fluid in the lines. I'm using an actual air compressor to pull fluid through the lines. Theoretically, this should go very fast. Now, first up, I'm gonna put some uh, towels underneath everywhere that we're dealing with fluid because we don't want the brake fluid to get on the paint. And in case you didn't know, always use a new bottle of brake fluid. You don't want to use a bottle that you've been letting sit for years. Pour it in. And just like that, you see bubble, bubbles already coming up. Moment of truth. Let's try sucking some fluids. That, that's That sounded weird. I used the air compressor a little bit and it definitely went down. If it goes this easy, this is going to not be difficult at all. I'm going to put a little bit more uh, fluid in there and do it again. Let's fill this up to the line so I know exactly where it is. And uh, let's try it on the right caliper. You're always gonna start on the farthest away from the caliper, or the farthest away from the master cylinder. Let's see how this goes. Well, definitely had fluid come through the lines. Yeah. I went about halfway down. Not a ton of feel. Ooh, actually, we got some good feel coming there. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time down here and then we'll uh, go up to the master cylinder. All right, there's not really any bubbles coming through there. Let's see if we went down some more. Whoo, yeah we did. Yeah we did. <laughs> now we've done the left, we've done the right. I'm gonna move up to the master cylinder, try again, and then we'll uh, redo the whole cycle and we should be good to go then. Still seems like a crap ton of air. Let's try some by hand. Seems like I got pretty good feel. There's some little bubbles coming through though. Let's try from the uh, left caliper again. There we go. Uh, let's try the right side real quick again and we'll do the master cylinder. I'm gonna tie a zip tie around the lever, hold it down while I do the uh, rear lines. This hopefully will help bring any air to the top. All right, I'm gonna do a time lapse for the rear. Same process, except we don't have three different bleeder valves. We have one. All 
All right, so check this out. I, uh, I already pressed it through a couple times, but uh, just the few minutes while I was doing the rear brakes got all of that air to the top, so there is absolutely no air coming through at all right now. All right, let's see how she rides. Now, I already did a couple quick little uh, just roll tests, and the front brakes work good. Wow, I can't talk. The front brakes work good, work well, excuse me. Now, to test it on the road. Not gonna do anything crazy, just gonna take it for a short little slow ride. Make sure everything's good. Bring it back here, check it for any leaks or anything like that. Make sure everything's good to go because we don't wanna take it for a, a legit ride doing shenanigan things and for it to fail on us. Show you guys a little test. So, this is front brake. Very nice. And then this is rear brake. Good to go for both of them. Now, I'm sure some air will work its way up uh, in the you know first few rides, all the vibrations and everything like that. So I'll be bleeding them again in a few days after I get some rides in and uh, try to get any remaining air out of there. But uh, this is a, a good start. ABS. I wonder if that light should be on. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Man, I, I just don't know. Can't remember if that thing's been on. All right, we're gonna take it slow in case I gotta roll to a stop. Probably not go over 20. Okay, I lied, we went over 20. <laughs> All right, no one's behind me. Let's try a brake test. Hey, ABS light went on, or off. <laughs> I can feel the ABS kick in a little bit there. I wonder if that's because the, uh, the pressure is so much better that it can kick in easier. I don't know. Man, that's freaking nice. That is nice. I'm gonna continue around the neighborhood because I wanna test this out a, a little bit more. I can't be stopping and going on the, uh, on the road. That is a lot better feel. It's so much more predictable. Jeez. <laughs> I freaking love it. By the way, I don't know if I've mentioned in the video. Maybe I did earlier. It's a Spiegler steel braided brake line kit. I'll link it down in the description. They sent it out to me. I installed it in the last video. If you guys want to watch that video, I'll link that in the description as well. You can pick different colors and whatnot, just like a lot of the different brake line companies, but they're just freaking super high quality. I definitely am feeling that ABS. I like this feel. I think there might be a little bit more air in the lines. That'll work its way out. And uh, as I said, we'll bleed them again. But man, they really, they really grab. All right, let's try the rear brake. Okay, that's weird. I haven't felt that before. I can feel the ABS on the rear brake. That the, the rear wheel does not want to... That's... That's actually really, really cool. <laughs> like normally, if you're like when I ride my supermoto or whatnot, I guess I haven't tried it on this bike. But if you really, really slam on that uh, rear brake pedal, you can get the rear end to lock up and uh, kind of skid into a stop. This is not happening. I mean, you might be able to hear it. Listen, that's the ABS. I can feel like the rumble underneath my my uh, my foot. That's uh kind of feathering that edge because I, I, I was really stomping on it that's god that's so awesome <laughs> it's kind of crazy to stop like that from a from a rear brake I love these I love this brake feel it's so much nicer <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> oh man. I got a thumbs up guys. I got a thumbs up for this. This is freaking nice. <laughs> Alright, get this rolled into the garage and uh, check for any leaks. Gotta get all this stuff put away first though. Ooh, camera. Ooh, ooh. Christmas decorations are uh, going up. Thanks to Abby. She's doing all the work. I didn't do anything. <laughs> this is our Christmas tree. It's pretty much the tallest Christmas tree that you can get. Do you guys know if you can find trees bigger than that? That's the only one that we could find. Is that your size? Christmas trees are supposed to be about how tall you are. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ooh. Ooh. Let's see how tall you are compared to the sister. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Perfect size. It's like, here, I'll decorate. <laughs> nope, <laughs> you're gonna pull it all off. Posed by the Christmas tree. Yay, Christmas. <laughs> are you gonna smile? She's like, I'm too fascinated. Ooh. She's wearing her uh, NASA shirt because she became an astronaut. Officially. <laughs> Oopsies. Got all our uh, stockings, half of which are dogs. All right, let's take a look at these brake lines, see if we got any leakages. So I'm gonna go over all of the uh, fittings. I honestly don't think we have any problems at all. No, let's just dirt anything up here. No, down here. No, back here where you can't see anything. Dirt. I think we are good to go, folks. Success. So that is the uh, Spiegler brake line kit for the 2017 R6, and that keeps all of the uh, standard ABS stuff intact. If you want to, you can get a kit for an ABS bike that basically eliminates the ABS stuff. So you can take all of that out, eliminate it, and just have direct brake lines with no ABS functionality at all. I'm not doing that. I wanna keep ABS on my bike, uh, but I'll link it down in the description if you wanna check it out, along with all the supplies that I use for doing this install and doing all the brake bleeding, if you wanna check that out. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of the kit. Obviously, it's not gonna look a whole lot different because uh, I went with a smoked look with the uh, titanium fittings on here, so it's not, it's not crazy different other than the fact that these aren't thick rubber hoses anymore. So uh, it looks real clean, but it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb with uh, bright colors or whatnot. Which I'm not necessarily saying is a bad thing. It's just not what I wanted to go with for uh, my build. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button for me, guys. Let's try to hit uh, 2,000 likes on this video. You guys have been awesome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.